Hello everybody, E here. Welcome to Castle Talk with my co-host, Shell. We are talking about the first episode of Castle Rock uh, that is now airing on Hulu as of today, July 25th. Uh, we're talking about episode one, Severance. So right off the bat, Shell is not a Stephen King reader. I think you read what, Cell? Yeah. Yeah, she's read Cell. Um, so yeah. that's pretty much her her exhaustive knowledge of Stephen that's King. It. So, I've seen the movies though, and you know the made for TV stuffs, but you know that's Christine's one of her favorite movies though. Yeah. Yeah. It's much different than the book though. Um, and Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet. That's another one. That's actually uh, Cycle of the Werewolf is the name of that one. Oh yeah. Yeah. So and that was the one that was on my mom's shelf for like years. Yes, yeah, it's it's back here yes. in uh, right there, Cycle of the Werewolf. Uh, we'll get to that in the Thursday Theory stuff. But today, like I said, we're talking about Episode 1, Severance of Castle Rock on Hulu. I'm going to let you say what you thought, not being a King fan, if it worked out for her, that kind of thing, what she thought, and then I will give my stuff. I was confused. Like, okay, so Home Dude disappeared when he was a kid. Oh, spoilers, by the way. Yeah, spoilers. Yeah, that. And then he comes back? Wait. Henry Deaver? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Henry Deaver. But, and then he gets adopted by a white family, and who the heck is Colin? What I want to know is what happened to his mother, because they said his dad got his back broke and then died of exposure or something. He didn't yeah, last so for like three days. Yeah, so what happened to mom Yeah, what happened to mom? period? His, his biological mom, because, you know, home dude, you know, he looked like me. So... <laughs> What? <laughs> and and his parents look like me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's cool. I love that. But there's some questions. Like, okay, so what else happened in his past? And how does all that lead to him having the job that he does now? Why does he have this job? I think that somewhere in there there's a connection that's important. And why is he in Texas now instead of yeah, Maine? What why made him he leave? leave? Maine? Like, did it, was the whole purpose of him becoming a lawyer so he could move away from yeah, Maine? Yeah, I, I wonder. I mean, because it, it, it can't be cool growing up being the kid that disappeared and your dad died and they said that you oh, did it. So point. I would imagine not wanting to stay there, but why all the way in Texas? This is true. Well, I mean, warmer climate. <laughs> but um, yeah, we it, one of the coolest parts uh, for me so far is we lived up in Brewer, Maine for two years yeah. and we know Bangor and yeah, that was fun and that was we, fun seeing that we watched so cool. yeah we watched when we were watching the show it's like we know where that is we know where that is mm -hmm. we've been there I'm actually surprised they didn't go to West Broadway and film something with with King's house True. um they might still who knows um but my my thing it was it was a blast that way it was also fun because you know Shawshank you got uh, Sissy Spacek um, is yeah, that his was really mom. Cool. That was really Sissy cool. Spacek played Carrie. You have Pil Bill Skarsgård as the strange dude that appeared. Um, well, not appeared. That was in the cage. How long has he been in the cage? Yeah. What What's the deal there? Um, so you got, and I have some theories on who he is. Um, as far as the lore, Stephen King lore is concerned. And what's uh, up with him just popping in and popping out of places? Like the end of that I'm episode. Afraid. Oh. I'm not in the <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the What's end of that wrong? episode, man. Are you going through there? Uh, oh, reminded me of uh, Lenoge in um, uh, Storm of the Century. So, uh, but we also got uh, Bill. Like I said, Bill Skarsgård. He was Pennywise in the new It reboot. Yeah, that was fun. I'm pretty sure Warden Lacey, the guy that played him, I can't remember his name. My apologies. I'm pretty sure he was. He's been in Stephen King adaptations also so I don't know um, some of the things that I caught uh, the name Pruitt the name Chambers uh, I, and I also think that Lacey's first name I don't know if they actually said it in the show but they were scraping it off and I saw an EN at the end that they hadn't scraped off yet when they're scraping his name off the door um, I'm thinking his name is Ogden Lacey and I seem to remember something in a Stephen King book about an Ogden Lacey now is that the actual warden from Shawshank Redemption or Rita Harry within the shot I don't remember uh, it might be so if you know you know how we do this uh, leave all the comments down there um, 
My first, oh, Alan Pangborn was a huge, that that was just cool. Oh, yeah, cool. it was on the, the name tag, yeah, right? See, yeah, seeing, uh, as soon as I saw Pangborn, I freaked out. I was like, yeah, it's Alan! Did, did. It, it was it's Alan, like, yes. Because we, we haven't heard from Alan since uh, since uh, Needful Things. So it was nice seeing him. Um, but Chambers is another name that pops up throughout the entirety of the King verse. I mean, it's in Cujo, Jake Chambers from the Dark Tower. So there's a lot of Chambers. But when they mention Chambers, they mention Chambers in Texas. I think it's the woman's name. Mm -hmm. I almost for a second, y'all, I thought it was Dolores Claiborne. I thought it was Dolores sitting there that he was defending. I had... I had no, I, I was hoping, but they hadn't said it was in Texas yet, so, right. um, but, uh, and Dolores happens in Castle Rock, and uh, Storm of the Century happens on Little Tile Island, and Castle Reach, or the story, The Reach, The Reach is what separates Little Tile Island and Castle Rock, and then there's even a story called The Reach where the old woman goes walking across there, and there's only so many months out of the year that you can walk from Castle Rock to the to Little Tall Island, which is where Storm of the Century was set. Um, but there was so there was so much, and I'm sure when I go back and watch it again, I'm gonna catch more. At least I hope, because this one was kind of light on the. I mean, there was a lot of names dropped. Um, I have some theories. Uh, I'm not gonna give my theory for uh, who Bill Skarsgård is. Yet I'm gonna wait and watch at least another episode. There's two more episodes right now, and then it's every Wednesday after that. So we will watch. I think the next one's Habeas Corpus, and I can't yeah. remember what the third one's called. But we'll watch tomorrow. You guys are getting a video on that episode, and then Friday you guys will be getting. There's double uploads tomorrow and the next day because I'm gonna be uploading uh, Thursday Theorist, and then after that we'll be doing uh, Castle Talk, which is the name of the show. Uh, and then on Friday we'll be doing the third episode and then every single Wednesday from here on out until the show ends we'll be doing Castle Talk. Fun times. Yes. Fun Is there anything else you want to add? No, I don't think so. I think did, we got it all. Did you enjoy the show? Other than did, being confused? It's a little early. I it's mean, a little early. yeah, but I have questions and I hope that all of this name dropping and all these characters that they have thrown at us in just the first episode I hope we get to know all of them. Yeah. I hope this isn't one of those things where we're introduced to this person and this person and this person and this person's yeah. mama, and then I hope we only actually spanfils. have like three people. Yeah, like, I'm hoping this. I'm hoping this episode with all these names and all these uh, nods isn't just fan service. Yeah, I um, hope I'm hoping it does come back around. Everything, everything comes back. Um, I will say, home dude went out. I've never seen a death like the one the uh, the warden yeah. for this episode. <laughs> That Home dude something. wanted to make Woo. sure he was dead. <laughs> he, he tore his own head off with a noose in a car, and then how did also how did they find him? How did they find him oh, so quickly? He, that wouldn't have happened. Did he leave a note or something? I mean, the, the only person who witnessed it was the damn dog. Unless the yeah. dog, uh, poor wolf. <laughs> poor wolf. Poor. My daughter said, "Oh, please don't let the dog <laughs> watch this." He did. And I was like, "What about the guy no. about to kill himself?" <laughs> Anywho, all right. No, anybody, it's a dog. Yes. Girlfriend. <laughs> so that's that's our views. Please leave your own views and your own opinions down there. If you didn't like it, if you liked it, we'd love to hear from you down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been Castle Talk with Shell. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>